من خير في اتباع من سلف وكل شر في ابتداء كن سلفيا على سلفيا على الجادة So he says the nations were presented to me i.e. in the dream فرأيتوا النبي I saw a prophet and with him was just a group look at that a prophet who gave da'wah and only a group shows you you don't go for what? numbers the number games doesn't help and shouldn't be the deciding factor of what you present and give and it's unfortunately the case the du'at we mentioned this mirara wa tikrara this is the problem with the da'wah scene today they run in the every single hole that the nation that the awam and the layman's take them and want to go oh this is what they like today i'm going to do it as well this is what they want to do i'm going to do it as well if the awam start to listen to a lecture or start to listen now the lectures are you see how they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller that's why these clips even though sometimes clips are even made out of my my videos they help they're good but they sh- they should be like the complimentary meal you don't if you're going to give a da'wah and open a youtube account all you have is small clips la akhi bring out a lump sum lecture of dars classes this is what would this is what will clench the first of the people but because the people don't really listen to them and they've got what's the word uh, retention low retention and attention span and it's almost as if like many of the people got ADHD now then oh no there's not many people are going to pay attention to kitab tawhid fala hawla wala quwwata so he leaves it this da'i leaves and abandons the battlefield he leaves his post but some prophets did they leave their posts because of the numbers no nuh did he leave his post for seven uh, uh 950 years no ma'hu ar-rahd only a group so now the clips look at this this is what happens and I, i hope the dua inshallah one day can see this when you start following it never stops it becomes this supply and demand da'wah the demand of the awam and then you supply oh that's what they like okay that's what they give that's like who works like that the entertainment industry that's the tactic of the entertainment in- industry you look at what is with the people and then you circumvent and invent a program and a movie and whatever and thing for the people because that's what they like so now we're going to make our da'wah khalas and now the clips get smaller and smaller now they can't last 30 seconds with 30 second clip this they only last 30 seconds now they have to have the tick time on it otherwise their retention they're going to leave so he says 20 seconds ya ikhwan fi allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khalas khalas over next what's it going to be fi fi allah that's going to be 10 second clips now khalas inshallah wallahi if it was the way things are going if giving da'wah was to skydive and you're in there hello people just wanted to remind you about allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the fact that allah created this air and you're skydiving they'll follow this is and it got a million views i need to start you know you're going to start seeing du'at and students of knowledge with parachutes wallahi i sound that i'm mocking but you can see it happening right because what do they do some of them now I won't be surprised if we go to the some of them they do it now they go on adventures they go to the edge of a cliff they go to the edge of a cliff and they give a reminder there's nothing really wrong with that all of this nothing wrong even if you want to skydive it's up to you there's nothing wrong with you do it here and there do you get my point this is my argument if you do a clip here and there alhamdulillah something just a quick but now we're following the we're going in the rabbit's hole because now this is all we're doing and we've abandoned kitab tawhid We've abandoned sitting in the next why because there's one two three four five there's like for example probably even less than what's here sitting with me some of them they're not happy even if the message is full there has to be a hundred two hundred fala hawla wala quwwata illa billah anyway uh this is something that's obviously sensitive you can imagine i've mentioned this numerous times but um this is why because look it's that's one of the ways the shaitan would get and destroy people now the children are falling into atheism they fall into apostasy we tell them tayyib tawhid now tawhid's not interesting now no wallahi we need to bring tawhid but still they only bring rububiyah <laughs> huh? they will never admit that the salafis were correct faraitu an nabiy wa ma'hu ar-rahul so a prophet only a group was with him when nabiy wa ma'hu ar-rajul wa ar-rajulan and a, a, a prophet who only two a man and two men with him la ilaha illallah Two men sitting in your dars 
Imagine these two brothers sitting in my dars. That wallahi, one day inshallah, you lot will become du'a. That is actually testing. That's testing. Wallahi will test you. Test your sincerity. You will test your sincerity. SubhanAllah, only two brothers came for me. You don't know what it feels like until you come into the da'wah field. Inshallah, you become du'a and you spread the haqq upon the correct way and you teach people that which is beneficial for him and you avoid skydiving. But uh, you, you, it will test you, wallahi. Only one person sitting with you. Swallow it and say, let's start the book and start. Even if he's the only one with you. Why? Because the prophet, who are we? Prophet and only man, a rajul, war rajulan. Wallah, am I seeing correct? Oh, it says rajul war rajulan in the hadith. Can someone confirm for me? It says a rajul war rajulan, right? A prophet who only one, huh? I'm not asking for real confirmation, akhi. A prophet who only one man followed. A prophet, well, let that sink in. Only one man followed. La ilaha illallah. A prophet. And how Allah, Allah didn't inform us, the hadith doesn't inform us how long he was there for. Fala ilaha illallah. Why? What ends? What, ad- what, ad- what is the end point is, Ya Allah, I've conveyed the duty. I've done my duty. You can come at the end and say, Ya Allah, I've fulfilled the command. Huh? What do you have to show for it? This man. Allahu Akbar. Look at that. And not only a prophet or two will, a, a man or two will, a prophet will only a man or two of him. When Nabi, it gets worse. When Nabi will ahad, a prophet would come to Allah and no one was with him. No one. Never left where he was upon. Stuck to La ilaha illallah. Ya oh my people, worship Allah. Come to Allah, no one's with him. What would happen today? He would lose the, leave the post. Khalas, he'll take this off if he, if he wears this during dars. Huh? He'll take it off. Huh? Khalas, he'll go to the grocery, start selling groceries. And just go into trading. And leave. Because no one's going to follow him. One of the reasons probably why no one followed you. Not that it's not always the case because otherwise we'll be saying this about the Prophet. And we can't. We can't. Is that maybe you weren't sincere. Because Allah makes your da'wah effective when it's sincere, which is another thing I want to point out. It doesn't mean that if they have many numbers, that is a bad thing. I want to make that very clear because I don't want you to look at and find one da'i who Allah made him successful or a sheikh who Allah made him successful. We say, Alhamdulillah, when what? When we look at what your da'wah is. When we look at your da'wah and what it is, mashallah, and all these people, Allahu Akbar, Allah has given you barakah. But when we look at their da'wah and he's got love hearts and emojis and all of these uh, it's just jokish, childish, entertainment type of da'wah, comedy type of da'wah, of course many people will follow you, yakhi, because you entertain them. Huh? Crack a joke and you make many people come. Crack a can and you can invite many people in your house. But uh, the point is, that's what I want to make clear. So it's, we look at the, what, what is being taught. So if, if it's, alhamdulillah, that many people benefit from the alim, alhamdulillah, and what is teaching, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So the Prophet who knows with him, Allahu Akbar. Idrufi Ali Sawan Alim. Anyway, moving on. A whole group.